That's right, guys. It's Tuesday morning, so you know what that means. He's a Tuesday morning tech tip from Publicity Speed Shop. All right, guys. So if, if you're new to the channel or if you're like Kevin and you just want to forget that I even own this thing, we've been doing a lot of work on this hard body, right? 92 Nissan, two-wheel drive, four-cylinder, five-speed. No big deal, right? Picked it up pretty cheap. Need a ton of stuff. And uh, we did it all. Mechanically, it's legit. All right, it's got a flat tire right here. Just just forget that, okay? Um, and here it is, right? We did a bunch of body work. We primed it up. And now we're doing a little detail stuff. I am getting a ton of flack for just priming this thing. Why would you do all the body work? Why would you do all this? And you didn't do, you're not going to paint it? All that work, you're not going to paint it? No, nah, I'm not going to paint it. Because, yeah, all that work... And it ain't even close to ready for paint. That's that's just how it goes. Anybody that's ever painted something, you guys understand. Here's the key to when you prime something. And I've been driving primered out, busted up rides for the majority of my life, right? It's the details, okay? It makes it look a little bit better, right? Here's, here's some things, right? You got this little guy right here. Right? I took it off and put it back on when I primed it. Not painting over that. Making your tape lines actually clean, right? This was all jacked in here. This was terrible. Paint that up, right? The little, little, the trim, right? Like these here, leaving that. People paint over stuff all the time, right? This trim was terrible. And you'll see, if you watched the video, last video, you saw that. Painting that black. This being a little different, right? Use that plastic dip. Setting things off, you know? Just a little stuff that can make it come along wet. These wipers, if you look at the other videos, they were trashed. A can of black spray paint that I had laying around, they look freaking brand new. The antenna, same thing. It's looking brand new. Does it matter? You look, you look at it over here, right? And you're like, dude, who cares? You got crap hanging around, you painted it, who cares? When you got a clean canvas, a primer, right? and you put these little things on there, it works. It just sets it apart, it makes it better. Similar thing with the grill over here, right? We just shot some black paint on it, looks clean. It was all, it looked terrible. It was all faded, it's sun faded. You can see little cracks, all that. Paint I had laying around, like I said, free, right? And then like, like I said, we use the plastic dip, right? So now, you add the plastic dip wheels that are gonna match the bumper up there, right? Which, hit little mm. stuff, guys, right, you know? Here's a little Nissan thing for the grill. I'm gonna paint that to match that, match the bumper. So mm. you'll be like, you know, plastic dip, the black paint with the, it, little things like that make a huge difference. And I'm gonna show you how I know this, right? <laughs> Well, there's the last one I did the exact same thing to. I picked this thing up for like 300 bucks. The paint was terrible. Now, I primed this thing four years ago, right? And it's still, there's some spots. You can see it back here. Um, starting to come off of some spots here. Guys, this is four-year-old primer. I sat it down and primed it. I'm going to go over it again. But four years old, it cost me, I remember... Seventy dollars I spent on paint primer, um, yeah, paint. I, I did the black trim again, um, sandpaper and stuff, right? So I, these had the gold wheels; they were terrible. My opinion, whatever. Clean up the rings, painted that. Did the uh, the mirrors? Did the antenna? <laughs> See the bumpers just a little bit different. Shot the grill. Seventy bucks it cost me to do that. It's been like this for four years. Andrew drove it every day for I don't know how long, you know? And I love the look of it. It's kind of like a sinister type, whatever. And if you get, I don't care if you get a scratch on it because I got a can of primer, right? I love that look so much. I went out and bought a brand new Harley Davidson motorcycle. And what did I do, guys? It's gunmetal satin uh, gray with black trim. 
all the bikes that were in that Harley dealership. And honestly, I think I paid extra for that paint. Now I'm well aware of the fact that there's a lot of people, or probably most people, I ain't gonna change their mind. They're gonna say, Chaz, what's wrong with you? Don't just prime the thing. It's That's just prep stuff, you need to paint it. Well, just like I can't change your mind, you ain't gonna change mine. I'm gonna keep it primer. We had a little saying back when, I started working on old cars back in, uh, early 2000s when I got my picked up my 53 like my first old old car right uh, primer is finer and that's all there is to it is it lazy yeah there's, there's some laziness to it but I honestly love the look if, if, if I didn't prove that by buying that road glass right it's I mean there was shiny every paint you could think of in the world and you know Harley Davidson forget about it's what they're known for right and I said, let me get the one that looks like primer, <laughs> you know? Now, yeah, and people, oh, why don't you just paint it with a flattening agent? I don't want it, <laughs> all right? This thing I bought to flip quick. Obviously, that ship has sailed, right? Um, honestly, I wasn't even going to do any videos on it. My plan was buy it, fix the clutch and uh, the fuel pump, and off it, make a couple dollars, throw it in something in the shop, right? Everything was a lot worse than I thought. But before I even knew it was way worse than I thought, I did a quick short on this thing, right? Um, just, you know, here is uh, here's this hard body. And it had like 6,000 hits. I was like, and Andrew was like, hey, you probably should do some stuff on the channel with it. And it, it, it's got me a bunch of subscribers. It's got us pretty popular with it. But I don't want to be known as a hard body guy, right? So there's that. I'm getting off track. Shocker, right? The point is the finish of it. If you guys even see my 65 in the back over there, it's gray with black trim on it. That's just my thing, you know? Um, that had shiny, well, as shiny as 13-year-old Mako paint can get, but that's what was on there. If you guys remember, I hopefully you do, you know, in high school, I had a 77 Trans Am. Well, you guys won't remember the car. But remember your high school days, right? If you went out and bought your car yourself and you worked on your car yourself and, and all that kind of stuff, and then you probably had primer on something you owned. That's, I, that's if not, then, uh, well, we're not from the same place, you know? Um, that Trans Am, I bought it, it was, it was, it was painted. You know, I was 14, my dad brought it home, all that kind of stuff. And um, it was not long before me and my brother put that thing in a ditch and uh, I had to do some body work and I ended up painting the whole thing primer gray. And I'm sure if, if I have a picture, the kid will throw it up right here. If not, I just pointed at nothing. But uh, that's what I'm trying to say, guys. Ain't nothing wrong with having something primer. And if you guys, like I, said, I said in the video, if you ever painted a car, You'll understand that this coat of primer on this thing is the first in many steps. Then you gotta block it and you gotta guide coat it and then go over it again and go over it again and go over it again and go. It's, it's not even too hard by you guys. It's just not worth it, you know? But the primer it looks clean. Somebody can come look at the thing, they wanna, you know, if I'm selling it, see that it looks, hey, this thing is it's a pretty straight vehicle, right? Okay, yeah, why not? And, and, I mean, you're not hiding anything, but it's the best, the best, you know, presentation you can have of it, in my opinion. Like I said, I know there's a lot of guys I ain't going to change your mind. You're going to tell me I need to paint it anyways. It's like, you ain't going to change mine. <laughs> All right? Thanks for watching, guys.